top skimming your entire garden might be a bit excessive, but it's quite fun to do the odd border. I want to make a Delft border, you know, blue and white china using grasses and border perennials. Should be quite fun. A blue and white colour scheme is a good starter kit for a border, and the idea is to keep as much colour and interest as possible throughout the year. These echinaceas will be shown off well by those grasses that are at the back of the border. And they're a lovely daisy that goes on flowering from midsummer right the way through to the end. Achillea the pearl. Lovely white fluffy flowers. They can go at the back. This is another long flowering hardy perennial that's drought tolerant. And in front of them, some Perovsky, a lovely aromatic grey leaf plant with these purple spires of flower. Those flowers provide later summer colour, and in winter you're left with attractive groups of white stems. I love this bit, where you're just sort of working out what goes where, and there's absolutely no need to rush. A bit of grass, I think, now we'll have this variegated one here. These grasses are an elegant perennial backbone to a border and their delicate seed heads bring interest in the winter months. This variegated Miscanthus sinensis will reach over two metres. These fescue grasses are great for the front of a border. Little blue shaving brushes that look good for most of the year. And like a lot of the plants in here, they don't need heavily manured soil. Just decent earth in reasonable sun will do them. The great thing about grasses is they make good glue. They join together bulkier plants with a sort of fine airiness. It seems to work for me. This is a lovely geranium called Roseanne. It may look as if it's flopped, but this is its habit. It sort of runs along the ground. Over the coming seasons, these perennials and grasses will bulk up, forming clumps and drifts of year-round texture and colour. <laughs> 